All right, good morning, everybody. So if you already baked it, you know, make sure it's nice and cool and everything. I always follow all the instructions on the package for baking. If I gave you the stuff, then, you know, it's the 275 degrees in the oven um, and 15 minutes for every quarter inch of thickness. Um, but if you're using your own stuff or you bought extra, just make sure you check the package because you want to make sure that you're doing it correctly. So in this video, I'm going to show you the little top fin. So this fin right here. Um, and for that fin, like you can look at it on here. So usually uh, towards the face, it's a little taller and then it usually thins out towards the back edge. But it kind of depends on what kind of fish it is, right? So some fish have different kinds of fins. So you just want to kind of make sure that you're making your fish look like your design. So what I'm going to do, though, is I have still some of that leftover slab from earlier from when I made the fins and all that kind of stuff and covered the body. So I know this one's going to be big enough for the um, size fin that I want to make. And this little piece is extra. So it's also from the slab. I'm just going to lay it on my little piece of paper here. And I'm going to smooth one side kind of flat. So I'm not smoothing this side at all. I'm just smoothing this side right here on this side. So I'm sticking my finger partway in and then pulling away. And then I'm going to pull it off of the... Um, paper. So what I did was this side over here stayed thick and this side over here got really thin. And what I'm going to do is add that onto the edge of this clay. Now my goal here is to make this edge that's going to end up touching the fish a little bit thicker than the top edge. And it's easier to blend it now than if I add like a little coil or something at the end. I could do that, but it's just easier to blend when there's something underneath to push against. So that's why I'm adding this little piece on now. So you can see on this side, it's like double thickness. And then on this side, it's single thickness. So once I have that and it's kind of blended, now I'm going to cut my shape. So for me, I think I'm going to go with this kind of a shape. So I told my daughters, because I have twin daughters who look totally different from each other, but they're, you know, a minute apart in age that I was making twinsy fish. So I'm making twinsy fish. So we're going to have two grumpy fish and they're like, yes, grumpy fish. And they want to be the grumpy fish. Oh, look at this line. I'm going to smooth out that line before I stick it on my fish. Okay. So I'm just going to smooth this out because why not do that now? Well, it's easy to do, right? Okay, there we go. And now I'm going to figure out where I want this to go on my fish because um, I just I want it to look cool. Now, if I stick it way up here, that would look kind of weird. Then it would start to look like, like, I don't know, a narwhal or something, but not really. So I'm going to make mine is going to go back here. Okay, so kind of like this one, uh, but mine's going to go back there. Now, to me, let's see, I think I might make this a little bit smaller. So, oh, don't bump my fins. I'm living dangerously by not baking my fins before doing the next video. It's okay. It's going to be okay. All right, so I just made it a little bit smaller because I wanted to. All right, so I'm going to check and be like, okay, yeah, to me, I think that's going to be, yeah, I think that's what I want. So I am I know I need to glue this, so I'm just going to kind of like set my glue, like I'm just going to kind of draw a stripe on there so I know where I need to put my glue. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue right there, and I'm just going to blend it just a little bit. And remember, I'm using that, that uh, oven bake glue the bacon bond so now before we blend this in make sure that you're actually on the right part of your fish because like when I look right here I'm like oh my gosh it's way over there so just like hmm, let's just pull that glue up here oh, okay yes so see, yeah oh that's so much better <laughs> all right so it's good to look at your project from multiple directions because like oh if I had stuck it on the side I would have been like so upset with myself but I think I need a little bit more glue over here. So I'm going to add a little glue. 
but always look at your project from multiple angles so you can make sure that, you know, it looks the way you want it to. All right, and since I added a little bit more glue on, I'm just gonna kind of wobble it around, make sure it's stuck real good. Okay, so now just like we did before, we're gonna blend around the edge. So I'm just taking my finger and I'm just using my finger to kind of smooth it in because that bottom piece is a little bit whiter than the top part, right? Now I can use a finger in the back of the fin for support and that is helpful to keep it from moving too far. So I'm just using this finger butted up against it to kind of make it so I can have it nice and supported. Swoosh, swoosh, swoosh. Swooshy, swooshy. You can use a tool for this. Um, like you could use an eraser or like one of the round tools or a toothpick or the side of your needle tool or whatever. Um, but I find most of the time my finger is the best tool there is. It's like the original tool, right? Because like all people learned how to use their fingers once they discovered them. All right, okay. So I'm blending on both sides. And since I made that a little wider, I have a little bit that I can smooth. Okay, now I made mine like crazy sticky with glue. You don't need to have quite that much glue. But like I said, when I picked it up and it was like, oh, that's not in the right spot. Like we wanna make sure it's in the right spot. And if in the process of smoothing it, it moved, just scoot it over. It's not baked yet. If it ain't right, fix it before you bake it. Okay, and then just like the other fins, you're gonna pinch around the edge, just around that top edge. Make sure your finger's clean. So that way it, it wants to pinch smoothly. Right, okay, so I made that, that edge real nice and clean. Make sure that, you know, if you had to move it, make sure everything is nice and smooth. If it looks a little sticky, just smooth it with your finger. Okay, and then I'm gonna add on lines, but make sure, like when a fish swims, you want the water to be helping them out. You don't want the water to be pushing against stuff. So like, make sure that the lines are going away from the nose, okay? Because like if you try to draw the lines in going this way, your fish is gonna look super funky, okay? Don't draw the lines in the wrong way. Have the, you're gonna start at the base near your fish body and you're gonna go away from the nose of the fish. Start at the base and then go away from the nose of the fish, okay? There, all right. Now that you have that, all the fins on, now it's time to go bake that sucker. So make sure you follow the baking directions that are appropriate for your clay. And I'll see you back for eyeballs and grumpy face. All right, thanks everybody.